Hey guys, welcome to the vault. Uh, we are back with some more exclusive content. Uh, Jason, Leon, and Pierre here. Uh, we're here to preview um, a new collection coming from Fan Treasures and Pro Image Sports. Hope you guys enjoy. Pierre, take it away. Yeah, so we got a, a pretty cool collection here. A nice little uh, 10 cap clip that we're going to go through. And Leon's going to show a couple of pictures that kind of show what these are hooked to, right? Well, Mm -hmm. We'll um, we'll start with that, and then we'll jump into the pack itself, and then in customary fashion, I'll have you guys select your three favorites, and then I'll rank them ten to one. How's that sound? It sounds good. All right, let's do it. All right, so this collection is called the Stone Harbor uh, collection. Uh, like you said, there's ten caps. So basically, this is a little uh, town um, in New Jersey, basically known for uh, being a resort style community with a lot of beaches, restaurants, and a shopping district. So um, they kind of tried to capture the essence uh, with it. So I'll just show you a couple quick pictures um, that we found on the internet. So those are the beaches that uh, kind of hooks yeah. to the... Do you think that boat could hold you, Leon? Uh, only if I sat in the middle. If I sat at the front or the back, it would be risky. Mm. Um, I would have to sit in the middle. So I'd have to be at the front, or Jason would. No, me and you, me and you would have to sit on the the same. I, I would, I would have to sit on it, um, in this position, and someone would have to either push or drag the boat into the water. There's no way I'd be. That's able to there's no way in hell the, the that would ever happen. <laughs> Nobody is going to drag a boat with your ass sitting in it into the water. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be that cross sand. Are you kidding me? If I had to, if I had to like try to get my leg into it while I'm in water, I don't know. I don't have the balance for it. Um, uh -huh. But we'll I see. might be able to push you in. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're, 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 God, you're, like, I don't know. Don't count on. Don't count on me. <laughs> Jason, you could be the motivational support. I'll hold the camera. There you go. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> that's a no. That's a. This is a, this looks like a nice little town though, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So known for the beaches and shopping and. All that stuff. So they, I think they did a cool job. Um, yeah, they did. Kind of highlighting their community. So hmm. these are gorgeous. I, I'm starting to like stone more than I am chrome. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of stone. It's hat number one. Ooh, brown bottle. Yeah. Okay. Good combo. Colorado Rockies. So first lineman. Next up, ah, this one is really smooth, man. Yeah. Ooh, that's brown. Brown. Ooh. Okay. Dude, this one is nice, man. That turned out good. Clean. I like how they're all different colors too, though. You know, they didn't yeah. go same palette across every single hat. They kind of, they kind of like did uh, muted team colors. Yep. Mm -hmm. Or uh, darkened team colors. Some yeah. metallics involved. It looks like yeah. too. Next up, you got the Mets. Oh, oh, we're going with kind of a Giants colorway there. Yeah, solid. Oh, that's nice. They did a really good job with these, man. Ooh, I love this one, too. Very diverse. I love this bird. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a good bird. Cal Ripken vibes for sure. Yeah, yeah Cal Cal Ripken. Ripken. I'm thinking Cal Ripken. Or Moose. Next up, we got one of two Phillies caps. Well, I mean, I don't blame them being in the Philly area. Dude, this one is real nice, though. Look at this. It's got that maroon, that olive. Beautiful mm. side patch. I like it. I like these colorways. They're real good, man. They're really good. They did – I don't know if you guys remember this. A, a while back, they did an off-white pack that had like 10 caps in it. Right. Yeah, I, I think, think this I like, is better. I like yeah. stone better. They had the the big Philly script, right, in that off-white pack? Yep. 
Yeah, they had the Minnesota Twins. Uh, there was a there was the Reds in that pack. It was a good pack, but this one to me is far better. This is this this is probably their best total collection of hats I've seen. I I agree. Cause they usually don't do you know ten ten pack hats. Nah. Ten hat packs too often. So they've had like some of the best hats of the past few months. Yeah. In all of hats, honestly. They had that Rays, that Astros. I think this but one's we- some better uh if you live in the philly area and you want this hat you better get in line yeah this thing's nice this thing's gonna fly that eagle colorway yep oh yeah that's true Mm -hmm. two more to go shut the door Another nice cat, man. Come on. Yep. And last but not least, the Untouchables. That's a good logo. They're nice hats, man. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but these are nice. Mm Mm-hmm. Green under on this one. Good pack, man. Really good pack. You guys ready to pick your top uh, your top three? Well, let's do it. I'll I'll start. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm throwing the Astros out because that's an All untouchable. Right. So let's start with the uh, Texas Rangers at number three. Okay. Rangers mm-hmm. number three for you? For me. Yep. Okay. Let's do uh Oh, this is a tough one. Let's do the the steroid bird. Yeah, I like the color treatment on that front logo. Okay. You're number then, one. Uh, I'm going with St. Louis Cardinals. I like the colorway on this a lot. Nice choices, Jason. I do like the I do like your three choices. Leon, what are your three choices? Okay, we're kind of similar, but kind of different. So number three, Texas. Okay. So far, similar. Mm-hmm. This is where we differ. Uh, number two, uh, instead of Strongbird, I'm going to go with Baltimore. Okay. Okay. I mean, my bird could kick your bird's ass. That's what I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Blue Jays of Orioles for sure. Um, and then uh, St. Louis is my uh, um, number one pick in this. this is the, the old Browns colors. Yeah, yeah, I like it. All right, all right. So I got to go from last to first, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Number ten, I'm going Mets. Ooh. Listen, every hat. I'll, I'm gonna be honest with you. Every hat in here is good. It, yeah. There's nothing missing this pack. Yeah, there's no duds. Number nine. Okay. I probably would have put that one at ten. I like this one though. Just just because this pack is so good that like hmm. this is where it gets a little tough for me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Phillies. Yeah, but I'm going a different Philly than you. I'm going this Philly. Oh, okay. Okay. That other Philly with the olive and the maroon is just fantastic. This one's great too. Mm-hmm. I'm a sucker for that logo though. I like that old logo. It's hard for me to rank this one this at this spot, but mm-hmm. I'm going Atlanta next. I can't blame you. All right. This is where you guys are going to really think I'm crazy. No. Yeah. So that's number six, right? Number five oh. for me. Give me Baltimore. Okay. Number four is going to be this Philly. Okay. Number three for me. Wow. Unanimous number three. 
<laughs> well, getting in sync now. Number two. Okay. Yeah. And then unanimous again. I yeah. I don't know. It's hard to battle this though. Like I mean, this is like this hat is tremendous. Yeah, it's really really good. I didn't pay close enough attention to it when I first saw this pack. Right when That's I saw it. the picture, so John sent me the picture. I think it was on Sunday, maybe. Yeah. I saw Monday or Saturday. One of those. Two, uh, I think it might have been Saturday actually. And I was like, nah, these are it, man. And this, well, this hat uh, yeah. here was my favorite immediately. Yeah. Well, there's so many good ones in this hat that I just kind of overlooked that one until I saw it close up. I'm like, that's the These one are... right there. All good, man. All good mm. caps. Mm. All different colorways. You didn't like double up on all this stuff. It's just, they all look unique. They all look good, but they all look tied together, right? It's interesting. Yep. Like, how you can use all these different colors, all these different side patches and whatnot, but still have it linked together. So that is uh, the Stone Harbor pack from Pro Image Fan Treasures, John the Marion team. What a tremendous, tremendous pack! Um, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, man, but I'm loving what they're doing, man. It's like they've had like a solid two months in a row, no and they've misses. had some of the best hats of the past couple of months, man. Right. That Rays hat, that Astros hat, even some of those crucial black caps. There's a lot of oh, great there. Yeah, this one. I mean. Yeah, the, the Boston hat you're wearing is another one, man. I mean, they've been killing it lately, and I think this um, this Stone Harbor pack is is um, is quite quite the pack. So, um, good luck, right? I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people after these, um, mm -hmm. but I appreciate you guys joining me, John, and the team at Fan Treasures and Pro Image in New Jersey and uh, Philadelphia. I want to really thank you guys for allowing us the opportunity to preview these. And Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, make sure you guys are letting us know um, which of the Stone Harbor pack are your favorite. Make sure you guys are following Fan Treasures for release info and future releases. We we have release info Saturday okay. the seventeenth, one p.m. Right. Eastern. Fantreasures.com, and then obviously all the all the stores in that uh, perfect in that org. Perfect. Um, and for Jason, Leon, and Pierre, we're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody. Peace. Enjoy 15% off all products with the code VFTV15. Brought to you by VFTV.